This strategy that you currently see might be the best Adora strategy in Battles 2. And we ain't talking about it being the best strategy in Bonanza, by the way. We're talking about good old ranked. But you guys will see exactly why I think this strategy is the real deal in today's video. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. And it looks like our opponent is going to be using Obin as their hero. We, of course, are going to be using Adora since she is the main objective with today's video. And guys, by the way, just to clarify, this strategy, it can work in normal mode, in Bonanza, whatever the case may be. But remember that in this video, we are playing in a ranked match. So if you're looking to increase your trophy count ranked, or even just try the strategy out in casual mode, you most certainly can. And technically, you can use it in Bonanza as well. But this video is going to be focusing on using the strategy in an actual ranked match here, okay? And by the way, our opponents can be starting off with the Druid, which definitely makes sense as to why Obin is their hero. Um, I might... I don't know if I want to send space greens here. I don't think I do. I mean, sometimes, like, I do with this strategy because I just want to make sure that I can easily afford going for a round to a door and everything. But uh, I feel like that actually might not matter. So let's go for a door here now, though, just to ensure that we can go no lies lost here. Although the life advantage probably won't end up mattering. I just want to be safe, okay? If we can maintain the perfect 150 life count, I mean, why not, right? In round two or round three, I'm sorry, is here. Group blues it is. We're going to have to ultimately upgrade this Dartling Gunner here to the powerful darts upgrade, okay? So after maybe like two more income boost, we should be able to go for that. Okay, so there we go with that. Yeah, I probably could have even waited one more, but I didn't know if he was going to send me space pinks. Like, I'm going to send him space pinks here on round four. Oh, he went for Heart of Thunder? Okay, he definitely did not need to go for that. Because if you have Obin and the Druid, and you go for the Druid of Wrath upgrade, when the Druid shoots upward, you're able to fully, fully defend. So, I'm surprised to see that he ended up going for that. He still has yet to set down a single farm, by the way, so... Maybe he's just not farming. That's definitely a possibility. But round five is here. Let's get back to group eco win with grouped greens. And we're probably going to have to go for the Bastard Barrel Spin. Most definitely. But I'm just trying to greed for as long as I can here. Uh, so if he sends space whites underneath or over top, whatever it is, with these grouped greens here, then that definitely could hurt. So let's just go for that Bastard Barrel Spin now then, I guess. And then we're going to get back to space eco in here on round six with space blacks. Yeah, he's using a pure eco strategy. This really sucks here. I'm not going to lie. And I'll probably use my level 3 ability here. Because uh, we're kind of chasing, sort of. And we're going to have to go for another Dartling Gunner here. Yeah, look. Even with my level 3 ability, I'm leaking. Okay, so... If I had better Dartling targeting, I probably could have fully defended there. But it's fine. I was trying to get the pixel perfect spot. You already know. On this new Dartling Gunner here. For round 7 is here. He's going to be absolutely fine against all these group yellows. We, on the other hand, not necessarily. We might even have to tower boost here, which is pretty unfortunate. Depending on how many grouped yellows he can send, which I know he's got a lot of money. Okay, that's for freaking sure. Oh my god. Yeah, look. Look at this, bro. Oh my god. He's still sending. Yep, and he's going to do that. Okay. Oh, I'm going to use my level 3 ability. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. Okay, so as you can see, this strategy... Although I think it's one of the best, if not the best Adora strategies out there, it definitely struggles during the early game rounds because Adora is not an early game hero. Just to clarify in case anyone thought, no, she does not shine during the early, even to mid game rounds, but rather the late game rounds is where she absolutely freaking excels, okay? Uh, but by the way, we're probably going to go, yeah, we got to go for the faster barrel spin, uh, but ultimately we're going to be upgrading this Dartling Gunner to an HRP. AKA Hydra Rocket Pots. I'm going to try to stall off this round, by the way, which I probably haven't been doing all that well uh, by not popping these AI balloons because the quicker that we pop these AI balloons up here, the quicker the rounds will end. And we're using a pure eco strategy. All of our money is going to be coming from our eco. And eco comes in every six seconds. So that means it's time dependent. So we want to make sure that we stall off these rounds for as long as we freaking can. And by the way, I think here we can pull off a double Dartling Gunner tech here, uh, just because he never forced the HRP immediately over on our side, which was super, super nice. But round 12 is here. Space Rainbows it is, because these are only available for one singular round, round 12. We probably could force an upgrade or two over on his side. I mean, he has a reactor, which is definitely pretty solid, but uh, 
I'm not sure if he cross path that or not already, but honestly, I don't even really care. I'm just gonna max eco with group black balloons throughout these mid game rounds. And I know we're gonna be absolutely chilling because again, we have the double dartling gunner attack here. Normally, I would only have one singular HRP, but one singular HRP is pretty bad. Like, it's actually very, very bad. And it's very easy to rush one singular HRP, especially if Adora is your hero. If we had, like, Gwendolyn to help us out, Gwendolyn, compared to Adora, is so much better during the early to mid-game rounds. It's not even funny. Like, her level 3 ability is super, super goaded. Her passive ability that, like, shoots out fire, like, in a circle, that's super, super solid as well. But that's what Gwendolyn is more designed for. Whereas Adora is not designed for that. She, again, is designed for the later game rounds. It is important to note that our opponent did stop Ecoing. I wonder why. Okay, they did go for another Druid. So maybe they're either trying to Druid farm, or they're trying to get an increase of attack speed on a future Tier 5 Druid, which would not be that bad of an idea. Although he has a lot of Brambles on the map, so maybe I'm actually wrong about that. Uh, but it is now round 17. He stopped Ecoing again. Okay, I thought he was going to send me a Moab. Which, you know what, I, I think against a map with having a door, the 022 as well, and the HRP, I think we're going to be fine. Fortify Moab might be a little bit of a different story, uh, but we did hit that 1750 Ego mark, by the way, so let's transition into constant pink Ego now. Yeah, that's when I normally transition into pinks, by the way, 1750 Ego. And then we can also probably start going for a village here. So, like, all the way down here. Yeah, let's just go for that now. We're going to be going for the bottom path upgrades on this village because if you don't know you get even more eco from simply ecoing when you go for these upgrades okay the monkey town and the monkey city like for example monkey town all balloon sends give 10 percent more income and then the monkey city upgrade after that will give an additional 10 percent okay let me go for a laser shock here by the way i think we're fine here it's kind of scary though i'm not gonna lie we're doing we're doing decent damage we're doing decent damage let me use my level three ability though Okay, tower boost that, because I'm bad at this game. No, we got the life advantage. Or no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. We're good. Ah, oh, that so sucks that we had the tower boost that. Are you kidding me? Just the constant eco was layering in. Oh, and a BFB's coming our way. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Wait, did he just balloon boost? I'm not sure. But I will go for a super monkey here. I really want to go for those bottom path village upgrades, but... We got to make sure that we do not die here first. Go for the knockback to slow down uh, the BFB here a little bit. Because it can do that, which is very, very nice. It's also going to send a Fortify Mob and Balloon Boost. Okay, let's go for that. Okay, we're fine against that. I don't know why he did that. Okay, okay, okay. Probably going to go for a Dark Knight here, unfortunately. So, yeah, let's just go for that. But I think that's all we'll need. And level 3. Just to make sure that we're fine against all the ceramics underneath. And yes, we were. Okay. I'll sell this so that I can go for this. Okay, I feel like that's fair. And we're going to continue on Ecoin with just grouped pinks here until we're able to actually go for the Monkey City. I guess our opponent has fully transitioned into Druid Farming, which definitely is not a bad idea. I never even sent my opponent a rush, by the way, but I think it's best to maintain uh, passiveness with this strategy. Because it requires a lot of money since we have the most expensive tower in the game being the Super Monkey. We have a lot of other expensive upgrades on top of that, like the MAD on the Darling Gunner, Homeland Defense on the Village, etc. So, I would rather build my eco and focus on putting my money there into like the bottom path upgrades and stuff like that. Rather than to rush my opponent, especially when like, if I would have sent him like a fortified BFB, I mean now obviously he'd be fine, but even earlier on... I don't think it would have been worth it because he probably would have been able to easily defend. But now we're going to start ecoing with group zebras here, by the way. Round 25 is here. Okay, so we really have got to watch out, by the way, uh, for DDTs on round 26. Because, dude, they really nerfed the Moab class balloon damage to the bottom path upgrades. Like the Dark Knight, Dark Champion, all of them. So they honestly do really bad against DDTs now. Like you need three Dark Knights, cross path with the top path as well to make sure that you are full chilling against round 26 spaced fortified DDT. So that obviously kind of sucks. Oh, he's had the spike battery. Okay, so Druid subs back. Okay, that's a pretty solid strategy. Uh, let's continue on eco win with these. So yeah, I probably, where do I want my true sun god? Or my eventual true sun god? Probably like right here, right? Directly in the center of the map. Yeah, probably. So we'll go for that. I really want to go for the monkeyopolis here too. So 
I'm gonna set that in stone, which is a bit risky. Let's get back to eco when we just pink. So I'll probably just full on stop my eco game here very, very soon as well. I'm gonna go for probably another potential super monkey more back here too. I don't think he's gonna send us DDTs, but at the same time, you never know. You know what I mean? Okay, so he could always regen his lives, by the way, in order to get the life advantage back, which kind of sucks, obviously, but then he's gonna lose out on the increase of attack speed that he built up on his druid. Although that's only one druid, but I'm just going to hope and pray that he eventually rushes us, okay? But we'll still focus on going for the necessary defenses. We're going to stop eco in here, by the way, at a perfect 6,001 eco. I don't know why I said perfect there, but whatever. In order to have max sacrificing on our sun temple and true sun god, we have to make sure that we have at least $15,000 worth of sacrificing from every category within our strategy. And if you take a look at our strategy, we have the military category with having the Darling Gunner, the support category with having the village, and finally the magic category with having the super monkey. So we need to make sure that we have 15k worth of sacrificing once again from those three categories before going for the Sun Temple upgrade and also the True Sun God upgrade. Oh, he's gonna be rushing us here. Okay, so scratch all of what I just said because we're just gonna focus on defending here and we have to go for an MAD. It's pretty unfortunate, but it's just what we gotta do. I think maybe I go for Dark Champ even here too as well. I'll cross path that with the top path as well. And then we could probably, should I save my MAD ability? Yeah, I'll save it for like the ZOMGs and stuff. We might not even, oh dude, we're fine. Oh my God. Oh, send us another one. So I'll use it against this. Okay. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, might have to use this. Probably. No, no, no. We're fine. Oh, my God. Dark Champion definitely helped out with the ceramics and everything underneath. So, that, of course, was nice. I don't think we need to go for, like, a homeland defense or anything crazy like that, by the way. So, I think we're chilling here. Just make sure that our Dartling Gunner, our MAD, is constantly hitting this Fortified BAD here. And we might have to tech tear the insides. Most definitely. Okay, well, we're fine against those. Okay, we can also use another MAD ability, though. I mean, we have the tech tear on the map, though, so we might as well use it, right? But there we go with the MAD ability. Okay, we're good. Okay, he's going to send us another one. Dude, he's just not lining up. He's just not laying up, guys. Okay, let's upgrade this then to a Sun Avatar. That can help us out a bit. Probably also go for this. Could use a call to arms. Oh, it's not even affecting that. Okay, that's fine. Just use it anyway. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're chilling here. He's like slowly but surely sending us fortified BADs. Which isn't a bad idea, but... We've been pretty good so far. I really still want to go for the max sun goddess Adora, which I'm sure a lot of you have already seen. By the way, we're going to use probably MAD ability here. Let's get ready to use the tech terror. Okay. Okay, we're good. All right. This has been definitely an interesting game. Okay, we still could probably pull this off. I definitely easily have 50k worth of sacrificing, or not 50k, I'm sorry, 15k worth of sacrificing from the support category with having the call to arms here. Easily too with having the dark champion, but I kind of don't want to sacrifice that since this is like $30,000 just for this upgrade. So we'll dark shift you then down here more because yeah that's outside the range we could probably sell this too as well and then 15k worth of sacrificing i think this is almost that's 15k right there we'll keep the call to arms and then we'll just go for a bottom path balloon air denial system here okay that's definitely 50k oh we don't even have enough money to go for the sun temple though okay so i guess maybe then we don't go for the sun temple or anything just yet just because like if we could go for the sun temple that's good and all but i i'm ultimately trying to go for the true sun god right it's round 37 we're still making money from the balloon or the monkey office down here i'm sorry which we could always sell we'd always sell the mad as well so i think we can pull it off still but again he might regen his lives and he might 
quite literally refuse to rush us. So, like, that's the kind of issue that we're currently running into, which is probably what he plans on doing at this point. So, we might have to rush him with a ton of fortified BADs or something crazy like that on round 39. Honestly, I don't even know if we can actually pull this off, guys. To be able to, like, because we don't really need to go for the true sun god or the sun goddess Adora, where Adora merges into the true sun god. Like, we don't need to go for that if he's not going to send us a rush, right? That obviously just doesn't make sense for us to go for. And I'm telling he's going to regen his lives. He's going to. If he's smart, he would send me a fortified BAD on round 39. So I have to focus on defending so that I have less money to rush him ultimately with. Uh, over on his side, okay? Yeah, it's already around 39 here, so... I think, yeah, I just have to... Kind of swallow my pride here. And not go for the true sun god. Or the max sun goddess Adora. But instead rush him, okay? So, let's just get to rushing him now then, okay? Uh, I should probably send space, right? Yeah, I think space here because he has a lot of super mind spike balls on the map. Okay, we'll send another... Obviously, we don't want to send, like, anything else because his Superstorm can just push back everything. But, yeah, he's definitely going to struggle here. We just got to make sure that we can defend against a potential counter, okay? So, I'll go for Tech Terror right here. I'll send him one more, and that's it. I feel like one more is definitely going to secure our victory here. Oh, that so sucks, though. I really wanted to go for the freaking True Sun God, man. I really did, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. He's going to die even sooner than I thought. Okay. Oh my god. Look at our side. I, I still could. I was gonna try to just pull it off. I mean, Adora's not even level 20 either. Oh, I oversent like crazy. I thought for sure. I mean, with him having the super mind stuff on the map. But guys, look at that. Because he does not have an increase of attack speed on his druids, they suck. They literally just suck, man. But our strategy, we still got the scene in action a little bit. Just know it's even more OP. <laughs> If you go for the true sun goddess Adora, or the sun goddess Adora, you get what I mean. But unfortunately, yeah, our opponent just refused to rush us there. Good move on their behalf. GG's all around. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where I made a lot of people mad by telling noobs in Bonanza that I wanted to go late game, but I ended up lying. <laughs>